Hey guys, it's George. Welcome to today's video. Today I'm bringing you something brand new and I'm going to be showing you how to dress like your favorite idols. I was originally going to recreate looks purely from Instagram, but I didn't want to limit myself just to one platform or one source or photos. So this is going to include everything. This will be Instagram, airport, stage, packed in like day-to-day -day activities, everything. I'll be taking you through each outfit, talking through the key pieces, why it's styled that way, the silhouette, and then I'll be showing you how you can recreate these looks on a budget and also make them your own. Obviously by the title, we're kicking off with Joy from Red Velvet. Joy has amazing style and her solo debut is out tomorrow. So what better time to celebrate her amazing fashion. So our first Joy look is this beautiful 90s Chanel-esque moment. What really drew my attention to it was the color. This look is all about that pop of color through the cardigan, but also the beret. I think it's really, really smart to have that beret in that matching green because it just brings another burst of color to this look. This look is really on trend. At the moment, we're seeing a lot of 90s cardigans that are worn with really light wash, high-waisted wide leg jeans. And this is like bang on that trend. To me, what's giving it that 90s Chanel vibe is the shape of it. We've got that really high crew neck. And then you can see that there's this really kind of like tweedy texture to the knit. And then it's got that white edging to really make the pocket details on the bust stand out. All of that edging around the hem, down the placket, the gold buttons. It's very 90 Chanel inspired. We need to pay attention to the way that Joy has styled this cardigan. The top button is open and the same with the lower button. And what I like is how this look is still conservative. She's still covered up, but she's still paying attention to those little details. And with this trend, you see cardigans done up like this, but you can reveal as much or as little as you want by opening the top as much as you want, by opening the bottom as much as you want. So it's really customizable to what you're comfortable with showing. H&M have you sorted when it comes to this look on a budget. We've got this really cute, like minty green cardigan. It's got that very 90s vibe about it. This one is slightly more revealing. So I'll try and find one that's a bit more covered up and conservative so you know we're covering all grounds and then H&M do really amazing wide leg jeans. I've included two that are not distressed and then a pair that are distressed because I think the distressed jean it just adds like another like cool element to this look and if that's more your vibe do you know what I mean it would still look so sick with this like little cute like 90s cardigan. If you are a hat person by all means get a beret in a matching color or another pop of color if you're that bright and bold. But also to make this look your own, I think style it with a pair of like statement gold earrings, some gold hoops, like a really nice little shoulder bag to really like amp up that 90s vibe. And it's gonna be like more of an inspired joy look than like copied verbatim. If you have a bit more sh money to spend on this look, Mango and other stories have some really beautiful, like tweedy 90s inspired cardigans. I really love this blue cotton tweed cardigan from Mango. It's definitely got that kind of like Chanel-esque vibe about it. And this one is a lot more conservative. That powder blue color looks so good on so many people like, what is also great about this outfit is that if you're not into that 90s cardigan trend, you don't feel comfortable wearing something along this line, you can go down the tweed jacket route, a tweed vest route, because it is a very like tweed inspired texture and you're still gonna be having that little like pop of color, that like 90s vibe about it. So these items from Mango are fantastic. This tweed jacket and this tweed vest really tie into this trend as well. Joy look two, we're still on this like 90s Chanel inspired look, but this look to me is a lot more casual. I think it's just the styling of the backpack, the trainer. Obviously we couldn't see what shoe Joy was wearing in the first look. I imagine like a white sneaker, but you know, that's me white sneaker life. I think where this look is monochromatic, it makes it more low key compared to that green like pop of the first look. When I spoke about this cardigan trend in the first look, I was talking about pay attention to the way that Joy has done the buttons up and it's the same here. She's 
made sure she's like covered at the bust, but we've got that flash of midriff and again, customize it however you want. And then it's been paired with this monochromatic check mini skirt and the flat form trainers. I just think it's very chic, but very casual and very easy to recreate. What I like about Joy styling here is how she styled the outfit up with her Chanel bag, the Dior sneakers, she's got the Chanel necklace. So if you have designer pieces in your wardrobe that can be styled like this, then pull them out. Like, you know, like style your outfit up with those spenny pieces. To recreate this on a budget, again, H&M is the one to go for. I really like H&M because the quality is great. They make an effort to like, be eco-friendly, do you know? So that's why there's a lot of H&M. H&M have a wide variety of these black 90s cardigans. You can go for a short sleeve option. You can go for a tie front. You can go for more of a classic V-neck shape with the frilly cuff. But then they also have this really amazing A-line skirt, which is almost identical to Joy's. It's just that the check is on a smaller scale and it looks slightly longer. If you wanna take some scissors to it, honestly do it. It will be so easy. You can follow the straight line of the check to make sure that you're getting a straight hem and then you can turn it up. If you have a sewing machine, sew it. If not, you can get Wonder Web, which is like this like sticky um, like webbing. And when you iron it, it makes it stick up. So very easy to customize. Alternatively, you could go for this knit jacquard skirt. I thought this was really nice because it's like the check, but it's a different texture. And also it's just, it looks super easy to wear. I don't think you need to go down the backpack route. If you have a black statement bag that you already own or like a black bag that you already love, go for that. Joy Look 3, we have this beautiful shirt dress. It's, I feel like all the looks I've picked for Joy are very like casual chic. It's just, I mean, I feel like that's just her style, like casual chic. Like imagine this on a hot summer's day, like perfect, it's flowing, it's comfy, but it's so easy to wear. It's such an easy to wear statement. It's, oh, I love these pictures as well. She looks fucking amazing. I'm just started scrolling through the pictures like, yes. I wouldn't say this look is necessarily a huge trend, but I think what's really smart here is that it's a statement dress that's incredibly easy to wear. And that is a staple in anyone's wardrobe come summer, come winter. And I think what's really nice about this is that if you find a dress that fits you really well, and it's a statement, you're gonna wear it again and again and again, especially if it's more of a casual style. Do you know what I mean? If you buy like a dress to like go on a night out in, you're not gonna wear it as much, but a day dress like this, I think it is something worth investing money in if you have that money to spend. If it fits, if it's a statement, you love it, treat yourself because you will wear it and you know, like you'll get your money's worth. What I like about Joy's is how we've got this blue and white stripe, very classic shirting material. And then we've got that contrast white collar. Again, that's very classic in like men's formal shirting to have that contrast white collar. It's definitely like banker, like, entrepreneur vibes but then we've got this like slight puff sleeve there's volume there's a tight cuff so it gives the sleeve this really beautiful shape and then she's really nipped in at the waist and then the skirt flows and like cascades over her hips to the floor well not to the floor bitch it's to her fucking ankles calm down <laughs> getting ahead of myself Joy has styled her look with a very simple chain and then she's got this canvas tote bag and then she's got those nude loafer like slides. I think they're great. A very hard shoe to wear though. Your toes need to be constantly like, <laughs> to keep them on. <laughs> I think when it comes to recreating this look, it's more about finding a statement dress, a statement? <laughs> a statement dress that suits you more so than copying what Joy's wearing. So I found a few really nice statement shirt dresses that have that stripe detail. So we're in the same lane, but we're not like, you know. I really like this shirt dress from H&M. It has this really nice puff sleeve detail. It's got that V-neck, but it's not like too plunging. I think it's a really nice length at the knee as well. This silhouette as well will suit a lot of body types. And you've also got that waist belt tie, which looks like it comes off. So, you know, you can have it flowing or you can tie it, snatch yourself, totally up to you and what you're comfortable with. Also this striped midi dress from Zara is really nice and it's because the stripes are going in different directions. It's definitely like a vacation vibe. If you live somewhere that's hot all the time, 
perfect daytime outfit for you. I'm jealous, fuck you. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> I've also included this mango dress in our on the budget section. It is $60, so you know, arguably like on the cusp. But I really like it. It's not striped, but what I really love about this dress is how all of that ruching is right at the waist in the middle, but it's not tight to your waist. It looks like the back is quite like free flowing. So imagine that when you walk, ooh, the drama. You can see it in this picture here where it's billowing in the wind. That's what sold me. I was just like, I have to include this because that will look so good. And again, I feel like this dress will look good on such a wide variety of body shapes. I really like how Joyce styled this with a pair of like beigey loafers. I couldn't find any decent ones like on a budget that had like that fold down back, but these ones from H&M, the back looks very soft. So if you want that look, just tread that shit down. Do a V, do a Taeyong, you know. You know. But also if you want to make this dress more smart casual or you know you've got like a brunch, a lunch, I think like a nude leather sandal like this, again, like this is such like a 90s shape. I like, my mum used to have shoes like this in the 90s. So it, I'm literally just like, I'm getting to that point where I'm old enough to see trends come back in from when I was younger and it makes me feel old as fuck. So get yourself some leather sandals. <laughs> If you want to invest in a dress like this and you have some more sh money, I think this striped cotton dress from Mango is really nice. And it's also the closest to Joy's. The shape of the shoulder, the shape of the cuff, giving you volume in the sleeve, the length of it. I like the fact that they're playing with two different stripes. You can see that on the sleeve, the stripe is thicker and on the body of the dress, there's a very thin blue stripe. And then you've got the solid white collar. The only thing I'm not sold on with this dress is that really thick waist tie. I think if you wanna snatch yourself in at the waist, get like a thin belt or something that you already have and use that because the belt for me, is not it, <laughs> to be honest. I think if you wanna make this look your own, you should go for like a sleek ponytail or a sleek bun and then go for like some statement earrings, a pair of like bitchy sunglasses and like a soft red lip. I think that would look so fucking fierce. Or you could go for a pair of trainers if that's more your vibe. There's so many ways you could wear this dress. You could switch out that canvas tote and go for a bag that has a pop of color because you know, it's quite a neutral, not neutral in the sense that it's nude, but it's quite like a neutral color palette that you can add other colors into this look and it's gonna work really, really well. Joy Look 4, I wanted to include this because it's super, super casual, but I love the way she styled it and I love the colors. It's monochromatic black and white and then we've got that burst of orange coming through and the way she's tied it across her body, it just looks so, so great. She's giving me like a cool girl vibe. I love it. I love super casual Joy. Like it's very casual, but it's still very stylized. And also who doesn't have a plain t-shirt, a pair of jeans that they love, a pair of sneakers they love, like something in a bold color they can tie around them. You can create this at home. You can do this now. <laughs> Looking through the pictures, it looks like Joy's tucked the black t-shirt in all the way around. I think that's to change up the silhouette. If this was tucked out, those jeans wouldn't be snatching her in at the waist as much. It wouldn't be making her legs look as long. You could also do a French tuck here where you just tuck it in in the front and let the back hang free. That would also look great. The main thing is the tie of that top. If you want to recreate this look for Vatum, I've included this plain black t-shirt from H&M and then Monkey and Clusion on ASOS do some really good denim. I think these white pairs are like the closest to what Joy's wearing. And then I've also included this plain oversized orange hoodie from Weekday just to tie around you. But let me, let me show you how to tie this. So here is my cardigan that you've all seen me in. 10,000 times. What you wanna do is grab your shoulder seams so your shoulder seams are flat. And if you're doing this with a hoodie, just make sure like the hood is flipped back because that's gonna be sticking out. And if you put that against your body, it's gonna look like you have a hump back and nobody really wants to look like fucking Quasimodo, so. So, and then you just flip it around your back and then you want one side to be on your shoulder and then you take that side under your arm and then you pull your sleeves forward and then you literally just tie. And then you do a double because otherwise it will just fall off. Do you know what I mean? You can tuck that up, you can pull that back. It's just 
It's so easy. You can do this with anything. Joy Look 5, we've got another very casual chic look. I love this. I think it's the combination of the stripes tucked in with that skirt. Normally, I'm not a huge fan of skirts like this, but the way that she styled it, I was sold. And these pictures as well, the one where she was like looking back over her shoulder, that's what sold me, okay? Like, she knows how to work it. She knows how to sell the garment. I'm here for it, and I don't know why. Usually, I fucking hate these skirts, but Joy, you've changed me. I'm a changed man. I'm also thinking now that Joy is very partial to a cardigan. You know, this is the third look with a cardigan, but this cardigan isn't that 90s trend. I feel like this is just more of like that cute cardigan that you pull out. It's a great casual look. I wouldn't necessarily say that this plays to a specific trend. Yes, it's kind of got like a nautical vibe about it, which is always like a low key summer thing, like stripes come out in summer, like everyone gets their Breton stripe out. I think this is a really great silhouette again for multiple body types. That A-line tiered skirt is gonna be very flattering on a lot of people. And then you can play around with that top half to suit your body. When I tell you I searched low and high for an affordable version of this skirt, and I found it at Zara for $39.90. And it's not as deep of a wash of denim. It's more of this like light mid blue wash, but I think that's really nice because you could mix it with like pastel colors as well as this black and white, and it's gonna work really well. It's also a very summery shade of denim. If you're wanting something a bit shorter, there's also this flare denim skirt from H&M. I think this is a really nice shape, but I do prefer the long one. But you know, if you wanna get some leg out, if you've got some good legs, go for the short. It's all about showing off what you've got. When it comes to the top half, I think go what you're comfortable with. If you have a striped sweater in your wardrobe, pair it with the skirt, tuck it in at the front, tuck it in all the way around, do what suits you. I think this cardigan from Wednesday Girl on ASOS is really cute. It fits that black and white vibe that Joy has, but it's on a smaller scale. It's got this really nice fluffy texture. Or I found this really cute set from River Island and it's like a little like knitted bralette and cardigan. So, you know, you've got tops underneath, you're not just wearing a cardigan, it's more about layering with this top. And then this is the part that upset me a lot. Joy is wearing espadrilles. If you are a regular viewer, you know I hate espadrilles. I hate them. But I will admit here it works. She changed my mind about the skirt, but she's not changed my mind about espadrilles. That will never happen. But I will admit I will swallow my pride and admit that <laughs> the espadrilles work really well with this look. And I'm sorry, I'm not gonna tell you to wear this with espadrilles, but I think these ones from H&M, it's more of like an espadrille sandal with like that tie strap coming up the leg around the ankle. Far more cute than me just being like, wear an espadrille. I can't, I can't do that. So I've low key linked you an espadrille, but at the same time, I haven't. Take what you want, take what you want. Our final joy look is this beautiful sheer polka dot dress. I really love the fact it's got the high neck, it's got the long sleeves. You can see that there's this volume around the wrist in the sleeve. I don't know why I'm sat here like doing this with my hands are strange. Um, and then it's also layered. We can see that she's wearing with a pair of black like cowboy-esque boots of that pointy toe coming up right below the knee. This is definitely more of like an autumnal vibe. If you're wearing black cowboy boots up to the knee in summer, like RIP you, but also I stand like that is commitment to the look. It also looks like there's a kind of like bib detail on the front, like this like ruffling, like coming down. I think it adds a really nice texture. I think what's really nice about the style that Joy is wearing as well, again, it's very covered up on the top. We're completely closed off around the neck. We've got the long sleeves, but where it's sheer, it's like, playing with the idea like am I covered up am I not do you know what I mean it's really really smart and I think polka dots are timeless it's black and white like this dress could be worn again and again and again and you could style it so many different ways the boots look great obviously I'm not going to tell you to wear boots when it's like you know starting to get really hot but if you get 
like a long sleeve shirt dress, you could wear it with boots when it comes to the winter. It's just about finding the right boot that looks good with the dress. Recreating this look on a budget, honestly, everyone is dropping polka dot dresses. You'll be able to find them on any retailer. My favorite at the moment, and I feel like the closest to what Joy is wearing is this puff sleeve chiffon one from H&M. The polka dot is in this like foil gold, but I think that gives it like a nice, like summery edge for the moment. And then I think it will work really well in autumn as well because it's that like rich, like gold color. I think it's really nice. You've got that volume around the um, sleeve. You've also got the tiered layers. So again, you could wear this in autumn with boots. But if you want to go more summery, you could go for this like strappy maxi dress from H&M. There's also this like shorter version from ASOS. It's got the shorter sleeve, but still with volume, the same tiers. So it's really up to you. You can find so many different polka dot dresses in so many different silhouettes. It's just what will work for your body type. What are you going to feel the most confident in? And then go from there. If you have a bit more sh money to spend, maybe you're polka dot mad. I think my favorite has to be this printed shirt dress from Mango. It's a wrap dress. It's a wrap shirt dress. So it's going to suit so many different body types. A wrap dress is just so flattering. And I think it's a really nice scale. It's a really nice length and you've got that little pop of leg. So I think if you're going to invest in this dress, this one from Mango, to make this look your own, you could wear this with white sneakers and a little like sport sock. You could have that low slick bun, that like soft red lip, the bitchy sunglasses, statement jewelry. I think a statement earring and some nice rings would go a long way with this. Also, if you have a statement bag, you could add a pop of color with a bag to this look. It's black and white. It's very easy to add that pop of color. So think about what you have in your wardrobe that would work really well with this item. Joy has amazing taste. Her style, so good. So good. I'm really happy with these looks that I put together for you guys as well. I really enjoy filming these because I feel like I'm styling you guys and it's just, it's a lot of fun. Like I love doing the research. I love pulling up my looks. So please let me know what you think in the comments of this new style of video. If you enjoyed it, please do give it a thumbs up and I will see you tomorrow for Joy's solo debut. I've also just uploaded my TXT concept picture reaction and I'll be back tomorrow with my reaction to them. There are a lot of videos going up. I ain't fucking playing for June. I'm not playing, bitch. <laughs> anyway, have a great day and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.